Hi there, I'm Dr. Beverly Wixon, your money mindset mentoring coach. Do you ever have bad days? Do you ever have bad days that turn into bad weeks? <laughs> I certainly have. But you know, I, I'm talking about those kind of days when you don't feel productive, you feel like you're spinning your wheels, you feel like everything you do is not working, nothing's gelling, things are being canceled, it just feels like everything's falling apart. Well, here's a little hint. Make a list of your past accomplishments. 10, 20, everything that you can think of. Graduating from kindergarten, winning King of the Mountain in kindergarten, winning an award in kindergarten, graduating from high school, passing your state test, passing a science test, earning a degree in college, surviving childbirth, surviving child rearing, passing the driver's test, um, running a 5K or a marathon or completing a marathon, even if you had to walk, dance, and crawl your way through it, which is what I did. <laughs> you know, buying a home, every accomplishment you can think of, gardening, you know, planting tent flowers or, you know, creating a beautiful garden, everything you can think of. Because on those days that don't go so well, Look back at that list. Keep it on your phone and your notes because that way you can look back at any time. And look back at that and go, yeah, I've done all this stuff. I'm pretty darn good. I can accomplish a lot of stuff. It might have been refinishing some furniture. Who knows? Might have been cooking a fantastic meal. All kinds of things. You know, back when I was teaching, I was teaching middle school and I taught seventh and eighth grade. My seventh graders, we read Shakespeare. Eighth grade, we did Taming of the Shrew, Shakespeare. And during that course of their eighth grade year, a local high school was putting on a production of The Tempest, another Shakespearean play. Well, we only had about a week or so, so we had to jam pack this one and put them in groups and do the five acts. And we went through it and I made them learn the concepts of the play, the gist of the play, before we went to see it. So they did that. We went to see the play. We came back. They had an assignment and everything on it. And as they came close to getting out of eighth grade, and as eighth graders are wont to do, they start saying things like, are you going to come to the high school and teach us there? Because you know, I don't want a new teacher. I'm used to you. And I just looked at them and said, you've done three Shakespearean plays in two years. What are you going to do in high school that's harder than that? That's harder than under reading and understanding Shakespeare. Three of his comedies. Three. What could be harder? Interesting thing is, I did end up going over to the high school to teach their senior year. And so I went around and I was talking to them. I would, you know, they'd see me in the hallways and all that stuff. Every single one of them, every single one had maintained a B average in high school. Or better, a B or better. And we had several of them who came to us in seventh grade. They were not B students when they got there. Now, I don't, of course, take total credit because they had also had some chemistry and things in middle school. But they knew what they had done with three Shakespearean plays, which is a foreign language to, to a lot of people, as well as some chemistry and all this other stuff. There was nothing that could hit them in high school that they couldn't accomplish. So they ended up with these fantastic averages. Almost all of them graduated with honors. I Well, I think they all graduated with honors, like I said, because um, they all had B or better. But I'm not sure if honors was a 3.0 or 3.2. I think it was a 3.2. So maybe one or two that didn't graduate quite with honors. But they all graduated with at least a B average, every single one of them. And that was all because they believed they could do it. And they would remember that they could do it. That's what you need to do. We all have those bad days. We all have, you know, we've all had bad days that turn into bad weeks. But one way to keep it from turning into a bad week is to have that list of accomplishments. Read through that list of accomplishments of the things you've done. Keep your medals around. Keep your certificates around. Have pictures of them. Scan them and put them in the same document. And when you're having that kind of day that things aren't going right, nothing's being productive, you're not getting any sales, all that stuff. 
read through that list of accomplishments, look yourself in the mirror and go, you rock. You're awesome. And then get out there and have a great day.